crap. No, 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 no. Don't die. Don't die. Do not die. No dying today. I got too much good stuff here with me. No dying today. No, 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 no. Oh, uh, no. Uh, is it going to die? Oh, it didn't die. I'm good. Woohoo. Oh, my God. Seriously? Again? Well, at least this time I can eat something. Replenish my hearts a little faster. Okay. Witches just made my top three list. Enderman, ghasts, witches. I hate you. Okay, so after that stressful event, I am just going to kick back here and chillax with some relaxing fishing. Ah, yes. Oh, this is nice. Oh, a nautilus shell. Wonderful. Oh, and another fish. Wonderful. No dying. Isn't it nice? <laughs> okay, so, hey everyone. Racecrafter here. Welcome to another new episode here on the Craftaway server. Uh, you can kind of see in the background there, I kind of got started on my iron farm. Um, that is going to be, it's a really cool build I got planned and that will be coming up in a future episode real soon <clears throat> excuse me but uh this episode uh i've got a double drowned farm that i built um i got lucky and found two zombie spawners actually i've been lucky i've found on <laughs> all within like pretty close proximity of my base I have found five zombie spawners, four spider spawners, and I just recently found a skelly spawner. Finally. I've been wanting to find a skelly spawner for a long time. But two of the zombie spawners that I found are relatively close together, and I really think I can join these two together, and or really thought, I it did it already, um, join them together to have a double farm um they would they join together in the same kill chamber in the same area so that both farms even though they're kind of far away i mean they're like 22 blocks uh separated from each other high and low on the y and then uh i don't remember how many on the x and z but it pretty close and um it worked out pretty good. Now, it was pretty difficult, and it did take me quite a while to figure out the logistics of all the coordinates, and I had this ladder system. I was going up and down and up and down, going, okay, do I go this way? Do I go over these few blocks? Do I shoot it this way? Do I do it that way? It kind of took me a while, but I did figure it out, and it works really awesome. The thing produces like crazy. Uh, I, I was actually kind of worried there was gonna, it was going to cause some lag on the server, but when other people are on and I'm down there just whacking the hell out of, of uh, the drown, nobody has any issues. Just, you know, I don't have any issues, so uh, everything's good. All right, so uh, here we are at spawner number one. This is the one on the down low. And uh, just kind of, you know, it's your standard design. Um, nine by nine room water buckets. Uh, I just put that up there to have access to get the torches But I don't need it because I can get the torches from the side You know in case I need to turn it on and off um, water stream in the corners in this room uh, Push them down to that hole down there another water stream pushes them over to this bubble column bubble column shoots them up and slides them over and uh, <laughs> This is part of my testing. Obviously, my calculations were a little bit off on that one. But, uh, you know, we'll check out the uh, kill chamber if I can get off the ladder. Here's uh, the beginnings of the kill chamber here. This is from uh, spawner number one, where we were just at, down low. This is spawner number two, which is above us. And uh, I just to keep my head straight, I put the signs there with the... The coordinates on them so we will go up to spawner number two check that out this is where they slide over 
from the uh, from each chamber. Um, bubble column on the left there brings them up, slides them over, spits them down. Um, the spawner number two is right here. Um, the bubble column for this one is super short. Exact same design. Um, you know, just water pushes them to the center, throws them down. They get pushed over to the bubble column. Blah blah blah. So, uh, in, yeah, I like having these little glass observation things. I, I don't know. I just think it's fun. Something better than just a a, a box, a spawner box. I like incorporating design and fun stuff into the farms, not just... Well, I probably should have stood back further because those just went right back into my inventory. So I throw that there, it'll go down, and I should find it in the chest. So just doing some little tests here and there. So we're ready to throw the water in the first chamber here. Collect a few more buckets. Takes four buckets per room. Dump and dump. Good to go. Uh, yeah, good to go. So, um, let's let's take a trip. <laughs> I'm a zombie. Uh, I'm a zombie. Uh. Um, the, notice there's no water on this block right here, so there will get will have one zombie kind of stuck right there, but. The dude coming next to him or behind him will push him right into the bubble column and send him straight up like this. And he goes across and uh, I'm a zombie uh, and I'm going to fall down and become a drowned. Uh. And this takes a lot longer than I expected in dropping very slowly. Do I have feather falling on my boots? I do, but it doesn't really do anything in water. <laughs> my god, this is slow. <laughs> slow motion. Alright. Everything works. I knew it would, but I like to be I like to be thorough sometimes, because I make a lot of stupid mistakes. So I think we're good to go. We'll close this up and uh knock out those torches and why'd I close this up? I should have should have not closed that up yet. So let's break these out and cool they didn't fall in. Oh but I'm gonna go in anyway because I need the torches. So we get the torches, try not to fall into there again and knock out get get um dang this water. There it is. Got it. All right, last one. Lights out. I get my glass first. There we go. Lights out. And the test is on. And they should be coming up here any second. Close that off so they don't escape. And there he goes. Zombie number one. Soon to be drowned number one. Let's uh, go down and check the kill chamber. There we go, and wow, that was quick. He fell off faster than I did, didn't he? All right, we got another one, and do we have more? Do we have more? Got my trusty sword, and as soon as he converts, I will make the first kill in the new farm. Where's the rest of your buddies? Not starting to shake. Oh yeah, he is starting to shake now. There we go. Oh, the other one's already drowned. And he's got a Nautilus shell. Off to a good start, I must say. Providing my, uh, yeah, junk. Dang, first things in the chest gotta be junk, don't they? Oh, one. Uh, get out of the way, zombie. I need a drowned. You convert. There you go. And the first kill officially in the new farm. Yeah. Obviously, fire aspect does not work in the water, but looting two or looting three does. You got two Nautilus shells, some rotten flesh, and junk. Not bad. Off to a good start with Nautilus shells, anyway, right? 
Okay. Anybody else? Hello? Mr. Zombie? Really? Dang it. That's what I was afraid of. I'm probably a little too far away. Alright. Um. Yeah, they're spawning. But when I'm standing up here... Let's go back down and check again. Oh, he's doing the moonwalk. See that? <laughs> and we'll close this off. And we'll go down and activate that one in a little bit. Uh, fill that in, fill that stuff in later. And yeah, yeah, okay. Back down. All the way down. Alright, so let's activate this one. Gosh dang it. <laughs> Take a trip in the bubble column again. Yeah, that's not the first time. Not going to be the last time probably either. Oh, and I filled this in already too. <sighs> it's been a long night. Alright, well, thank God for silk touch. I'll also be wasting a lot of glass. I'll get rid of this and get my dumbass out of here. There we go. Yeah, I'll close it off again, because I'm, I'm not going to do that again. I swear, I won't do it again. Okay, so, we got this one. We will now activate, remove the torch, lights out. Put that back, and uh, let's watch him shoot up the bubble column. Can we see? It's kind of dark, huh? Yeah, forget it. I keep... Uh, I don't know if that's the zombies I'm hearing in the chamber or if that's another one. I heard one before when that wasn't activated. I'm wondering if maybe that's an ish, That's going to be an issue. So one there already. These guys are starting to pack in. Kill a few while I'm at it. Eh, why not, you know? It's what the farm's for, right? Collect that XP. Collect the loot and get rid of the junk. Just kill, kill, kill. Blech. The little babies are a pain in the butt because they'll, when they're alone in there, they jump up and down. But you see, they don't come all the way down. I've counted every fourth time they'll come below. Well, that wasn't four, was it? Every fourth time, so they got to time it. Two, three. Four. See, you went down below. <laughs> yeah, I spent a lot of time in here. Oh, too slow. Three. Next one. Four. Oh, too slow again. One, two, three. Now. Gotcha! <laughs> you got a shovel. And, oh, what's the sword? Hey, not bad for an iron sword. Free? Leather cap? Junk? Alright. So, I have now raised the entire floor of the kill chamber, well, raised the entire kill chamber up two blocks. To, because I, th I think there was an issue that second um, spawner just was not producing. Um, maybe it's on a chunk border, and I just got unlucky with that. But um, I decided to try and balance out the distance between both spawners um, from, the, from the kill chamber from both spawners a little more evenly so that they, uh, geez, get up the ladder. Climb much, dude? Um, so they kind of evenly distribute the zombies as they spawn. So I was on 30 on the Y, now I'm on 32. Um, it's exactly the same. I just moved everything up two blocks. And let's see if that makes... It made a difference when I tested it, so it should be making a difference now. The one on the bottom below me hasn't been an issue. Uh, it's on 22, so now I'm on 32, so I'm 10 blocks above that one. And the other, this one's on 44, so I'm 12 blocks below. So technically it should be fine. You know, if it's on a chunk border, I mean, from bedrock to build limit, it doesn't matter where you are on the Y. 
just kind of matters where you are in the X and the Z. So I should be fine here. But maybe that other zombie that I heard roaming around the caves is causing a problem. Which I wouldn't be surprised. Because there's nobody here. No, not there. Hello? Mr. Zombie? Where are you? Ugh. Really? Maybe it just needs some time. I'll go check this out. Uh, throw a block. Come up. And... Oh, yeah, there's a dude down there. Did I, did I just not see him before? Oh, crap. Forgot he could swim. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Kill, kill, kill. <laughs> there was a drowned. I forgot he could swim. Oh. Oh, see, another stupid mistake. I told you, I make them all the time. And they're doing the moonwalk again, Mr. Zombie Villager. Nice form, dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that was just funny. <laughs> Oh, it cracked me up sometimes. Okay, so maybe I don't really don't want to have to lift it or move it up block again. That was a lot of work, uh, and it's late, and I don't want to do any more. I just I just want it to work properly. Um, what can we do? What can we do? We just stand here and just watch zombies convert to drowned. Yeah, this is awesome video content, isn't it? Let's look at the chest. Eh, not too bad. I've been here 15 minutes. Killing guys before this clip. And this chest is absolutely full. A lot of it's junk. But for 15 minutes, that's a pretty darn good haul. It's mostly been that left um, column that's been producing. But... You know, uh, if I can get this one to work as good as the other one, this thing is going to be producing like crazy, dude. Okay, this is getting boring. Let's move on. Messing with Endermen. Yeah, I see you. I'm looking right at you. Because I want my block back, you thief. Come here. Come here. Tag. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, yeah, I got you. Because you're on fire. Hurts, doesn't it? Oh, you got me. Oh, I gotcha. Give me back my block, fool. That's my block. Who's next? Scan the area here. See who else I can find. Is that a zombie villager? Or a zombie of some sort? Pretty sure it's a zombie villager. He looks purple. And it, it is. Take you out too. Uh, burn. Oh, one hit. Oh, okay. Anybody else? Anybody else? Because I'm in the mood to battle. Find me some, oh, you spawned in the wrong spot, Mr. Skelly. Gone. Gotcha. I will take that. And that XP, thank you very much. See uh, if we can get the get up this mountain here. We'll see who else we can find. Got to be somebody up here. It's all nice and dark. Nobody down there. Huh? Nobody over there. But of course, where it's all lit up with torches, there's a skelly. Get him from here. Oh, like a boss! What a shot! <laughs> I think I heard something. Is that a phantom? Yeah. Dang it! Hate those guys! That was a phantom. <laughs> oh, you are so gonna get it, Mr. Phantom. Yes, you in the moonlight. You are gonna get it. I'm gonna get you. Wait, 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 so I can get that XP. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. What? 
<laughs> oh, this is fun. I like going out over on these areas every so often. It's fun just picking off mobs. Is that Enderman over there? Another Enderman? Was it? Yeah, it is. It is another one. Let's get over here. And get this XP over here. And look for the Enderman. Where is he? Where is... There he is. I got him. When did I... Wait, when did I get him? Why is he red? Oh, maybe he touched the water. Yeah, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. Come on over here, fool. I want my block back. Is it cooked your buddy? I'm going to take you out. Ugh. Oh, he got me. Right behind me. Hey, Mr. Gollum. How about helping a brother out, huh? How about helping a brother out? You're standing there. Look, even the cow's running D. You're just standing like a big dummy. Thanks for nothing, bro. He's going to show up any second, like right behind me, isn't he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, there he is. There he is. Where is he? Yeah. Mine. Ha ha. <laughs> That's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I am out of here. See ya.